everyone this is Parvati here from Paro's Craftology today we'll be making a DIY wall decor using craft tree stencil and some craft tree chalk paints so to start with I am gessoing my base I'm using a MDF plank here applying a coat of black gesso and this is a stencil that we are that we are planning to use it's one of the latest releases from craft treat and uh, the design is very pretty and it's a must-have in anyone's stash so the idea that I had was to uh, have a very colorful vibrant panel uh, as a wall decor so you'll see me using multiple vibrant shades of chalk paints here all the chalk paints used here are from craft treat I am using a stencil brush to dab on the paint on to uh, get the impression of the stencil here and uh, while using a stencil brush or using a stencil always ensure that uh, you are dabbing off the excess of paint from your brush else there will be color bleeding and you won't get a perfect imprint of your uh, stencil so that's a tip for you I wanted the center uh, sentiment to stand out differently so uh, I'm using a texture paste here carefully just uh, covering the sentiment alone and uh, trying not to go over the floral area now as it's all different color it was all popping out um, separately I wanted it to have a single blend so for that I used uh, some gold acrylic paint and just roughly dabbed it around the entire uh, stenciled area and to highlight my sentiment further I am just using some gold acrylic again and just over that area I am just applying a very uh, nice coat of gold and uh, look at that effortlessly we have created a beautiful background a beautiful plank just by using some chalk pins and a single uh, stencil from craft rate i wanted to uh, make it like a frame uh, for a wall decor so i use this uh, wreath and then later on I added some flowers uh, these flowers are all from Prima and uh, to the main uh, flower I am just adding some smaller flowers that are complementing and uh, colors that are based in our uh, main focal stenciled area and finally to match uh, the gold inside I'm just roughly dabbing some gold on the wreath as well and some on the flowers too so that there's uniformity and Now 
now to finish off the project I added some lace this is just to uh, put it on to some hook on wall and our wall decor pieces ready to go hope you guys enjoyed watching the process video this is my final project and thank you for watching till we meet again it's parvati signing off bye bye